I'm going to talk about plotting graph in this video, especially on the part about line of best fit. So when a question asks us to draw a line of best fit, usually students will have this misconception that a line of best fit must be a straight line. But actually, line of best fit can be a straight line or a curved line. The meaning of a line of best fit is a line which goes through most of the points that we plotted. Now, although sometimes question will tell you whether it should be a line or a curved line, but unfortunately, the setters have not been very consistent in this. Now, this question in 2024, it says that you have to draw line of best fit and turns out that the graph is straight line graph. In winter 23, the question says draw a smooth curve of best fit. So this is obviously telling us that we have to draw a curve line. In summer 23, another question says draw a curve line of best fit. Then in another paper in summer 23 says a line of best fit. So it turns out to be a straight line. But let's hope this uh, trend will continue. That when they say a line of best fit means a straight line, a curved line of best fit means a curved line. But I realize that if I just go slightly further to a winter 2022 paper, which is not very far away, like less than two years ago, it says draw a line of best fit and turns out that the graph is a curved line. So that is the inconsistency that I was talking about. So I think the best way is actually to get to the fundamental. So we need to know that a line of best fit can be a straight line or a curved line, right? Because they are both lines. So the meaning of line of best fit is actually a line which goes through most of the points. Chemistry paper 5 is designed to have one most anomalous point. I've I've only seen one time in summer 2014 that a graph has two anomalous points. Other than that, all the data given in paper 5 will lead us to a line with only one most anomalous point. Now, if you look at the graph on the left-hand side, this straight line graph, there's one most anomalous point which is actually more than two small squares away from the graph. This is what I realized will always give you a set of data where most of the points will lie on the straight line of the curved line that you draw. Some won't exactly lie on the line, but they won't be more than two squares away from your line of best fit. Same goes to the one on the right hand side, the curved line. There's only one point that's more than two small squares away from your line of best fit. Students usually will not have issues with drawing a straight line of best fit because they can just use a ruler to see if a straight line can go through most of the points like this question so straight line which can go through most of the point it is a straight line now if you have to draw a straight line of best fit and you realize that it doesn't go through most of the points after you draw your straight line please count the number of points above and below the line of best fit. So in this question, I have three points below the straight line and two above the straight line. So for a straight line of best fit, you should have equal number of points on both sides of the graph. they are uneven, like this question, on one side, you should have one point more than the other side. For example, 3, 2, like in this case, okay, or 5, 4, or 2, 1. Now let's look at when do we need to draw a curved line of best fit. So here I have a graph which I've plotted the points. So by looking at these points, I should be drawing a curve line. So if I just join this one freehand, a 
smooth curve line will be produced. So let's see what if I actually use a ruler and draw a straight line. I try to get equal number of points on both sides. So here I have one, two, three, four, five. Five points above the line and another five points below the line. But after drawing a straight line, you realize that some points are just too far away from the line of best fit. Instead, if the curve line is drawn, you do not see any anomalous points. So between the straight line and also the curve line, the curve line best fit the points that we have plotted. So that is how you choose between a straight line or a curved line to be your best answer. Right, so I just want to show you another graph which should be a smooth curve. And what happens if you draw a straight line, the blue color line here? If a straight line is drawn, it will have points above the straight line and also points below the straight line. Which looks okay because I have 3 above the line and 4 below the line. Kind of equal. But they are just too far away from the graph. Remember I told you that even if points are not lying on the line of best fit that you are drawing, they shouldn't be too far away from the line. Because the questions are designed to have plus minus two small squares of points above and below the lines. If you draw a straight line for this question, there will be too many anomalous points, which makes the data unreliable. So drawing a curve would be a better choice because it goes through most of the points. And you have only one most anomalous point. Right, after talking about line of best fits, I would like to also show you what types of graphs that you will be asked to draw. So, of course, there are only two main types, the straight line graphs or the curved line graphs. Sometimes you'll be asked to draw more than one straight line, like the one on the left. Okay. This is a graph for thermometric penetration, where different portions of a sodium hydroxide is added to an acid, and every single time, the maximum temperature has to be measured. So, Two straight lines will be drawn to find the exact volume of sodium hydroxide that is needed to neutralize the acid and also the temperature change to the neutralization can be found. Now, type number two is a very typical straight line graph. Type number three and four are curve lines graph with positive and negative gradients and the last type will be a graph for measuring temperature change before and after mixing the reactants. So this is a graph where you should extrapolate both straight lines to the time where where the reactants are mixed to find the party.